Welcome to our Spelling Netcast for this week. It looks like we're doing Sort 29, but let's first start out with, you make sure you have your glue stick, your pencil ready and sharpened, ready to go, a nice pair of scissors to cut your words out with, a zip-top bag ready to put your words in for tomorrow, and of course your spelling book and your spelling words. So let's get started by cutting these babies out. They're actually not babies or words, but now let's cut these words out. So I usually go across the bottom here. So let's check out and see what words we've got going here. I'm going to clip off the top and see what we've got going on. Looks like we're doing sort 29. Looks like we're doing some more Greek roots. Looks like we got a little geo. We've talked a little bit about geo before because that's part of our science that we need to do. We also are doing therm. So we'll have to look at that one. Scope, meter, which is part of math, and logi. Logi. That's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? So I like to uh, put these words, keep these all uh, um, together so that when I cut them or when I write it, then I have specific place all the way across and that way I don't have any problems with spacing on my words. Then I'll cut these out, and I'll probably only do one or two today, because we got quite a few exemplars. So I uh, hope you're ready for this. So let's get these cut out. All right. Let's cut them out, and then make sure that you're cutting your words out. Always cut your words out. Don't just say, oh, well, Mr. Anderson's got his cut out. I can just use the ones he's got. No. I want your words to be cut out, and I want them spread out all over the place. Because that way you can see what, uh, what words are out there. And you can look at it and kind of get an idea of what's going on. All right. Then when you're looking at the words, when we go through our, uh, our root words, then we can see um, which ones are which and what they mean and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. I got mine all spread out. Let me get these last few here spread. All right. That way it makes it easier for all of us to find it too. All right. I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut off the little piece there. And I'm going to cut off the little piece here. That way I can glue my thing up at the top. And I always like to glue this up at the top. I don't like writing it down. Because then that's more writing I have to do but it also tells me everything I need to know on this, so I don't need to worry about writing it down. Because I'm doing 29 more Greek roots, geotherm, scope, meter, low G. Right? Okay. Um, what we got to do here is we're going to write these out, but remember what I always do is I like to leave a little space in here because that way we can write some meanings on these. So let's go geo, geo, underline, therm, and this also gives you uh, an idea of how big to write the letters also. Scope, and that's not the scope of uh, um, that you use in your mouth. Meter, like in meter in math. And then logi. And we hear this word a lot in science. So we're going to have to look at that. Now that I have these written out, now I can cut these up and put them in my zip-top bag for tomorrow night when I do my sorts for homework tomorrow. All right, so let's throw those in there, and now I'm ready to go. All right, so let's get started on these. We're going to do geo. Let's start with geo, and let's talk about geography. Geography. So let's do that. Geography. Geo. So what is geography? What is geography? Because I think we've talked about this before, and I think you know what geography is, right? I hope you do. Because geography is 
dealing with the Earth's surface. So if we look at graph, and I think graph is one of the uh, words that we did a couple weeks ago or, or a while ago. And if you didn't, that's okay. But, uh, oh, you know what? I don't have it. Darn it. We didn't do it. Last time. Or did we? Or did we? Hmm. I wonder where I put it. Oh, there it is right there. How interesting is that? That I would put it on. I had actually skipped some pages. Hello? That's not what you're supposed to do. Graph. Graph means to write. Write. Graph. Write. Huh. This is interesting. Writing. Geography is writing about the earth. Okay? So geo is actually earth. Huh. So if graph means right, geo means earth, geography is mapping. We're mapping. It shows the geography. It's mapping the earth. It's writing the earth. How cool is that? I love it. I love it. Writing the earth. All right. Let's look at, you know what? Let's do one more. Let's do, do one more. All right. Let's do geometry because geometry is a little bit different. Geo means earth, but what does metri mean? If we look at meter, meter, what does meter mean? And I think we've talked about it. It, it actually means measure. So meter is to measure earth measuring the earth and so what geometry was actually developed for by the greeks was to measure the land and so in geometry we do area we do volume we do um, perimeter around the circle that's geometry and so that's the measure of the earth so that's why they call that geometry all right so let's get into therm Therm, 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 thermal, therm, hmm, therm, well, let's, let's do another one, because thermal will do, but let's look at thermometer, or thermometer, and what does a thermometer do? It does not thermom eater, it's not a mom eater, it's thermometer. So we've got therm in there, and then we've got meter, which is over here. So it's measuring something. It's actually measuring heat. So thermal is heat. Isn't that cool? Thermometers measure the heat. So you know what? Let's go over and put that in here. Thermometer. And some of you are saying, well... Why don't we put geometry, because it's M-E-T-E-R, M-E-T-R-Y? So that's actually not one of these root words that we're talking about. All right, so we've got thermal, which is heat, right? Right? Okay. And thermal means uh, pertaining to or caused by heat. Caused by heat. And so we've got the thermometer. Now let's get into scope because we, we like telescope. 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 And we know that tele, let's see if we've got that one on one of these previous words that we did. Um, tele or tele. Te oh, we did that one too. Tele means distant. Distant what? Distant... What do scopes do? They look, they see, or they are, they target something. So we see distant. See distant. That's what telescope is. Isn't that cool? See distant. So let's look at this one right here. Let's look at periscope. Periscope. And so we've got the scope. We've got to remember to, to underline those. Periscope 
actually means to look, to see, and peri means around, around. So, to see around. So when we look through a periscope, we're looking around. Isn't that cool? But here's another one. Let's go into meter because we've got this one that's called perimeter. Per-i-me-ter. And so, oops, we'll have to put it under here too, won't we? Perimeter. So if this is to see, or, oh, what am I doing? What do you, what am I doing? We don't do that. If you wrote that, you are in so much trouble. Perimeter means to see, or around, peri means around, the measure. So we're measuring around, or the outside, of the shape. So we're measuring around. Isn't that cool? All right. And we've got our last word, which is logi. So we got mythology, myth, ology. And what's logi mean? What do you think logi means? It actually means to study. So anytime you see a study, a logi, it's the study of myths. So if we go over here and we do geology, geology, logi, but we've got geo, which is over here, so we can write that in over here also. Geology. Logi means the study of the earth. Geology. Study earth. Study earth. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, I want to show you one more logi, though, that I think is really cool. Etymology. Etymology. Logi, right there. Etym is words. The study of words. Exactly. And where they came from. And this is kind of what we're doing, is we're becoming etymologists because we are studying words in spelling. And that's what I want you guys to know, is I want you to realize that, that that's what we're doing, is we're studying words. One thing I do want to point out here, as you'll notice on these, there's an O right here, and there's an O right here. Because it's actually myth logi. It's not myth. And so what happened is the Greeks, or in Roman times, they would actually put a connecting vowel in the middle of two words that had a consonant and a consonant. Consonant, consonant. Now, geo already has a vowel here, so it doesn't need the connecting vowel. Sometimes you'll see an I, but most of the time we'll see an O. So I just thought that was pretty cool. So I hope you liked that. What I need you to do now is I need you to take the rest of these words that we have not done Write them in, underline the word, the, the Greek, Greek root, and I want you to think about what does it mean. What does it mean? If it's in two places, I want them written in both places. Make sure you've cut them out. Make sure you've got this all ready to go. Okay, I hope that you had a good time with this lesson because I sure learned a lot. Okay, have a good day. Get this done.